Valentine's. He is Big Mama. And for all you new subscribers, thank you for joining us here. Don't get scared of the crazy. Hang around. <laughs> you are part of the family now. Yeah, once you, once you enter the crazy, you can't leave. <laughs> we are, for the, those of you that are new, we're a, a family in Alabama, and we are very proud of that. <laughs> um, it's me and Fat Man and Brian, our oldest. He is moved out now. Woo -hoo! And then... Um, Carol Beth, our middle, she is 27 and autistic and just the light and joy of our life. And then Becca Boo, she is 25. Oh my gosh, she's 25 now. She is a CNA at a nursing home. She still lives at home with us. All of them were homeschooled. And um, Becca is just the joy and delight. She is our blessed Becca. Um, is what we call her because she is our true blessing um, yeah yeah so she has been such a tremendous joy and delight to have and uh, it's great to see how God is shaping her future um, we also have an adopted son Luke and his wife Maddie she likes to say she's our adopted daughter and she is they are, yeah yeah and we are very proud of them both he is a deputy sheriff and she is a full-time stay-at-home mom of our first grandbaby Alice Marie and Luke's sister our other daughter is Teresa and she is studying she also went and became a CNA and she is um, praying to go to nursing school and we pray that for her um, yes yes that is the road that we pray for for back and maybe to eventually go down but we are so blessed by all six of our children um, yes yes they are the joy and delight of our hearts um, and Alice Murray, that grandbaby. Ooh, for those of y'all that have been here long enough to know, Skeeter is the apple of her Oma and Opa's eye. Yet that baby can do no wrong. <laughs> She's 18 months old now. Oh, my stars and hannies. She's 18 months old now. I used to keep her more than I did. This is kind of like a recap for all our new viewers. I used to keep her a lot more than I did. For those of you that are new, I have been diagnosed with stiff person syndrome, which is an autoimmune disease, neurological. It is progressive. It is degenerative. Um, I get IVIG weekly. They are trying to get it at least for three months to do a stronger high dose because the weekly just didn't work it anymore. Um, a five days a week for a month for three months. Um, and we're, we're trying to fight and battle to get that done here in Montgomery instead of having to make the trek to Birmingham. But if I have to go to Birmingham, then I'll have to go to Birmingham. Whatever's gonna work. Um, like I said, I used to be able to keep my sweet baby, um, and that, that's her mama nail messaging me. Um, hold on. Yeah, she's wanting to know we are doing Princess Day. Um, I'm letting her know that, yes, we are going to do Princess Day. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm trying to get up with her now of making like lunch plans and we are going to go see the Disney princesses today. We're going to take y'all along with us. There is a salon and spa in town um, that has actually got the Disney princesses from the Princess Palace that are going to come for like a meet and greet. It's a way of them to try to promote 
their business as far as like birthday parties and I think they're eventually trying to promote and do like a package deal where you could take your daughters for birthdays and let them get pampered at the salon and spa but I also have the Disney princesses <clears throat> excuse me and Carol Beth was so cute and so not really funny but just so cute um, I said something to her and this was kind of not really talking about that I just kind of happened to be looking at her the other day and I noticed and I know I need to get mine done but I noticed hers were really bad and we had always made the comment she had been blessed with perfect eyebrows that for years she could go and never need anything done to them praise the Lord because you ain't getting that close and uh, all of a sudden now she started to thicken out and uh, I made the comment Carol Beth we might need to see about getting your brows done one day and without skipping a beat she's like yeah I need a pedicure too <laughs> and Becca happened to be standing there and Becca's like man she sure is <laughs> she's kind of greedy ain't she <laughs> Because if you know us, we are not one for extravagance. Um, manicures do not happen. Not go out and get them. You take care of your own nails. Um, pedicures maybe once or twice a year for Carol Beth because her feet get so gnarly, I guess would be the best way of describing it. 99.999% of the time that sweet baby is in flip-flops. If you know anything about Alabama, flip-flops wear on the back of your heel and she can get like callous like that thick and by the time they're done with her it, and this is what she says, it's as smooth as a baby's butt. It's like, yes, sweet girl, it is. But, uh, and first time we had it done, we thought she was going to freak out. Because I go at you with this cheese grater. I still have yet to ever have a pedicure done. I don't want my feet messed with. Now, whenever she got her pedicure, I got a manicure. And mine have done been pulled down. I, I cannot bite them no more. I pick. Um due to my autoimmunes I have dentures so um, I'm trying to see what our lunch is looking like with my babies but um she might just want me to grab my grandbaby and that's fine with me too I'll grab her I'll grab her and take her with us uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Um, anywho, I'm <laughs> sorry, train. Crazy train. It happens a lot around here. We are a permanent drop off spot and pick up train <laughs> for the crazy train, okay? It's kind of like a recap and learn to learn about Big Mama and Fat Man. Um, 
Fat Man's a hoot. Hey, Fat Man! He must be in the shower. We're getting ready for church. Like I said, it's Sunday morning. Did I say it? Sunday morning. Anywho, it's Sunday morning. It, I'm doing this kind of like as a get to know me. Um, catch up with me. Learn about me. And plan with me. Yeah, yeah. Um, again, for those of you that are new, my planner, I'm using a Recollections um, six ring binder I got it Michael's or Hobby Lobby I want to say it was Michael's um, always use their coupons or get them when they're on sale yeah at least I'm gonna go ahead out on a limb here and say at least once a month might be stretching that by a little bit you're going to find their planner stuff on sale. Maybe it was Hobby Lobby. No, it was Michael's. Um, also, Hobby Lobby, always use your 40% off coupon. You can find it online. You can find it in the paper. Never, ever, ever go in there without a 40% off coupon. Just saying. You cannot use it on sale items, but... If you can't find it on sale, then you can use that coupon. Um, I am loving my So Much Crafting inserts. Um, they are wonderful. That is what I'm using this year. Usually, I am in a leaf, in the Leafy Tree Chops Mothers Who Know Planner. Um, for those of you that are new to the planner community, or if you don't know, um, Technically, they called it the Mormon Mom Planner. It's based on Mormons or LDS. We are not Mormon, but I loved everything about that planner. The only Mormon thing it had in it was a Book of Mormon checklist that you could check off as you read. And it had the Mormon Doctrine, which you could just glue those pages together where you didn't have to see it. It didn't bother me. It did not bother me. Um, I find it rather fascinating to study about other religions. Um, the best way you can learn about your religion is to study other religions too. Um, we learned that from one of our pastors that we had in the past. We are Methodist. Um, this is my current Bible I'm using this year. It is a single column journaling Bible. Um, Katie from the Salty Biscuit on Instagram recommended it. I had to get the Paisley. If you know me, I'm out there. I like my beige. I like my colors. I like my prints. Um, yeah, yeah. Couldn't go with just standard black. Um, I did print out a Bible reading checklist. And as I do a chapter, I am just scratching it off or as I do a Bible a, a book of the Bible I scratch it off um, we are fixing to rare up and start our women living well um, Bible study we are going to be in 2nd Kings I do believe or did we just finish 2nd Kings y'all it's been a week okay it has been a week. I was thinking this coming Monday was Martin Luther King Day. I'm ahead a week because it don't happen until the 20th. I'm ahead a week. I guess in a way that is better than being behind a week. I've been that too. Yeah. Yes, we are starting Second Kings. See, I'm not as crazy as I thought. You can go to womenlivingwell.org. See that? And you can download the resources. You do not have to have the book. Um, you can go to the resources for... She does have the book on Amazon. You do not have to go to Amazon and get the book. You can just go to the website 
and I hit something else. But you can find it on the website um, along with all the other studies we've done so far. Anywho, I usually get a new Bible every year because the way I mark mine up. Yeah, see, I've done gotten off of planners to Bibles. Going back to planners, so much crafting, the inserts. I use the month on two pages. Um, I'm going to take a little note and let that up. That's what that looks like. This is a month on two pages. And they are not double backed. You can flip, like this is January. This is the back side of January and the first part of February. Now, just how they're blank. So, if I wanted to put my weekly pages in between, I could. I like having mine divided off all my months. And then I've got a divider. And I can go to my goals page, my weekly reset, and then into my weekly pages. I use the week on two pages with the habit tracker okay I do use stickers I don't use a lot um, this is a good bit for me um, and I will fill it in I've gotten to where down here I like using the gratitude um, mine is just appointments, notes of things to do. Now, they are double-backed. When you flip from like this week to next week, it is going to pick up on the back side. Um, and I will just take a post-it note. In any appointments, I've got my um, menu list right here. I did in pencil on a post-it. I will usually put that in, in the this week column right here. Um, running down the side, I will add any notes or like I will do appointments or to-dos or pray for, um, and then things I need to remember. <coughs> Excuse me. Like I said, this part down here, I've started doing as a gratitude. Um, and that worked out great, this last and I, I did not fill in Friday I need to go back and fill in Friday um, I was grateful for a chance just to kind of be at home but I'm left-handed and with that I actually have to take my pages out um, I would not be able to work around the rings so I'm gonna take out January the 15th well the 13th through the 19th and I have to watch my time I were good ah grabbing more sheets than I need alright so I'm just going to take those out I am going to set this aside I do have to use it to kind of do my daily tasks and I got I'm trying to get better about using my habit tracker I really am are y'all upside down to me? There. Is that better? Okay. I'm trying to see. Okay. Alright. So. I'm just going to kind of take these two like that and these are what I'm going to be working with alright this is my washi tape drawer it is a hot mess after Christmas all my Christmas washi is just kind of flown everywhere Carol Beth loves coming and getting my washi and she will actually decorate her pencils she loves to color and she gets colored pencils um, somebody was sweet enough they gave her a hundred pack of coloring pencils 
And so, yes, she can't have just plain pencils. That is a no-no. You can't just walk around with plain pencils. Don't you people know better? So, she had to come and get Mama's washi, and that is absolutely fine. So, I'm going to take just a few minutes and kind of reorganize and get back in place. And then in... Gotta move my bubble. In my rooster box here, I keep on my desk. I've got my spinny cart with my pens and pencils. I don't know, can y'all see what I'm doing? Yeah, I keep my pens and pencils here. It is broken, so I know do not lift it up. Do not see the treasure. I like a brother with art thou. See the crazy starting to come out. But um I just keep all my stickers in here in this box and I will just kind of have to go through and it it's a system it works for me um, that is just how we roll I know a lot of people do use binders I do have a binder for a lot of my loose ones it's a Chrissy Ann designs I got at Michael's and I just keep my loose ones that I hole punched and stick in here um, they are ones that have either come out of my books or I got like single sheets um, for whatever reason they were samples um, the tags came separate um, these were just single sheets and so I just hole punched them and stuck them in here um, and that works um, I know some people have gotten creative and they do like the monthly subscriptions I can't afford all that I wish I could but uh no I don't see spending $25 even a week what the hoosies for some stickers to decorate per week yeah no mm -mm. no no so I'm gonna clean out my washi and we're gonna get back to this Okay, I did get my washi drawer cleaned out and organized. This is just one that was like a random. Um, but yeah, I got it cleaned out and organized. Found my liquid paper. Found my adhesive strip things. Um, a stamp I got that I never really truly used. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to hang on to it. Uh-oh. Ruh, ruh, raggy. But I'm going to hang on to. Um, I'm going to keep working on my spread. This is how we're looking. I just kind of put down some washi that I would found. My menu plan. I got to write it out. My top three I want to accomplish this week. And some happy day gratitude. I put a lift simply over the weekend. Uh, be brave every day over my gamma treatment. I go for IVIG on that day. And then my get it girl, I am going to work on. I'm mastering checking off my habit tracker. I do it. I just don't check it off. And I would love to be able to look back and see. And it helps me focus. Like yesterday. I discovered halfway, well, no, I discovered, I was going to say halfway through the day, it wasn't even halfway, I discovered last night, I did not take my morning medication. I got up, I hit the ground running, I got so busy, it never happened. I'm not supposed to skip my meds. That might have been why I just wound up laying in my recliner. Not even, me and Brian got to binge watching Messiah on Netflix. <laughs> so, there you go. Hey, good show. Yeah, I don't know if I should say that or not. Was that? Yeah, Messiah. <laughs> okay, I think I finally finished <laughs> planning out my week. And for me not to have anything really the appointment was going on yeah I filled it up um it has been a while since Carol Beth has had a library day and so since she has art on Mondays library is literally right around the block so 
we're going to pack us a sack lunch. It's usually what we do. We go to the library. We'll get up, pack a sack lunch, do our morning routine, leave here early, go to the library, have at least an hour and a half for her to piddle and look in the library. Once you get that child in the library, you hang out. You hang out. Blessedly, they have some really cool um, chairs and setups and almost like a, a not really a coffee bar area. They don't have coffee in there, but they've got some really cool chairs um, and just to set in the area. Um, and so I'll pick out a couple of books, maybe. I'm really trying to work down my list of books I'm wanting to finish. I started this one a while back, if y'all know, and I've only gotten that far. And then it got put on the shelf. So I want to finish this one. I started this one I need to finish. Um, I am working on my standard of grace. I never got into that. If you can't tell, I'm an Emily Lay fan, like big time. Um, and if you've never watched, i uh, watched, if you've never read Girl, Wash Your Face, <gasps> I saw some young ladies looking at Target at the um, Girl Stop Apologizing book. And the mama in me could not help it. I had to ask them if they had read Girl, Wash Your Face, and they said no. And I'm like, well, technically, you don't have to read it first. But it was the first book she wrote, and then she wrote this one. And so they appreciated me, kind of giving them my book review. We stood there and we talked for a while. She's a Marie. Yeah. Uh, still got my... Um, but yeah, so those are some to do books that I want to get to. I also have, um, I'm trying to look and see. In addition, I mean, my Bible study, I do not really count. I mean, I do that daily. Um, that is not one that I want to. But I also have some nonfiction books that I do want to get to. Um, I, used to we would make a list of 12 books we wanted to accomplish a month this is when mandy bullard uh, ballard excuse me mandy ballard from biblical homemaking and y'all she literally just dropped off the face of the map um i made a baby blanket for one of her babes that was born this was years ago they had they were in the process of building their house in Texas. They lived in Texas, but they were in the process of building their house. And once they got their house built, she did a little bit of blogging, not much. And then it's just like she kind of just fell off the face of. Um, Zane was one of her little ones. He was little when I made the blanket for her baby that she was having after Zane, a little girl. Oh, what was her name? Anywho, uh, it was her and Money Saving Mom when she first kind of got started. Um, it was a goal of listen, read, be, do, or learn, read, be, do. Yeah, learn, read, be, do was our, our thing. A read, we set a goal of 12 books a month. One had to be a biography, nonfiction, fiction, a cookbook. Yes, you can read a cookbook. A how-to book, a religious book or theology book. Um, another book just kind of like for pleasure, kind of. Um, what was another one? A how-to Come on, mind. Think. I say biography. I know it used to be 12. Any hoozles. I cannot tell you the last time I read 12 books in a month. 
I can't tell you the last time I've read 12 books in a year. It's And used to, I could crank them out. And I could tell you everything I read about each book. I would have three books go in a week. Three books a week. You could get your 12 books done in a month. Um, and it would be like a, a girl stop apologizing. And then a fiction, like a, John, a James Patterson. Um, yeah. I love James Patterson. This is on my shelf up to read. It is a true story. Um, I've got Magnolia. Um, oh, this is one I wanted to finish. This was my religious, the gospel according to Jesus. These are on my shelf of two reads, and I've just kind of got them. Once I started reading them, I stack them here on my desk. But until then, they're on this shelf. And now I can't get it to go back. Yeah. But anywho, I digress. Monday, we're going to the library. <laughs> um, Tuesday is going to be our home blessing day. I did not accomplish it this past Tuesday. It's okay. I can do it this Tuesday. Come Wednesday, I don't... Oh my gosh, I didn't do it Tuesday. I've got to do it to, No, I get a fresh start. If I didn't accomplish, I got this coming week to do it. It's okay. Because if I try to play catch up, this body can't do all that. I just can't. Yeah, it's not in the cards for me no more. So, there you go. Oh, we're fixing to have to get ready to go to church. And then we have got a date with some Disney princesses. I'm excited. I am excited. So, I'm going to kind of clip my... Uh, what I do with my Jimmy clips? And I do need to put some more cards. I try to keep blank note cards in my... Um, these are two that I had in there. And I was able to write just encouraging notes to some sweet, precious, precious people at our church. And one lady, I'll probably have to drop theirs in their mailbox. I can do that on the way out. Um, but yeah. Um, I am going to stick a couple more. I always keep these are some that I got at Michael's. It was a big long thing of them for like nine dollars. And they're just blank, different colors. Um, got them when they were marked down. Excuse me if I'm losing my voice. And I try to grab some girl colors, some guy colors, just like maybe four. Um, and I'll have in the zipper part of my planner. Um, I don't think it came with this zipper. I think I actually used it from another one, if I'm not mistaken. And I did order the Erin Condor Corner Erin Condren Corner Pockets. These are wonderful to a point. They don't really stick all that well. I was not impressed as I should have been. Um, they can hold like a little note. Hey, fat man! Big girl. I know, we're getting ready to go. Yeah, we're we're getting ready to go. So, we will see y'all later.